Hi. Um, when we were doing the nano engineering down here on the floor, yeah. you seemed to be deliberately saying that you were destroying the electron on mm. one atom and then recreating it somewhere else. Can you just explain how that bit, actually works? Yeah, as, as opposed to moving the electron. Yeah, right, okay. That's a really good question. I'm really glad that you asked that. Um, it all comes down to this um, very special equation which I alluded to, alluded to called the Schrodinger equation. There is a way in which we can, uh, shall I say, recast that so that we get um, what's known as a, um, a, an, op an operator form of it, which is basically what we did here today. So that form is that um, within how we explain that equation, uh, we can literally destroy a particle and we can create it again into another state. And so it becomes part of the mechanics, the quantum mechanics of what we can actually do with our system. And all of that information is then put in at the equation level. And out of that, like what we've got, we've got all these different possibilities that can happen. And then we have to look at the quantum statistics which sit on top of that. So when I was saying we take like a snapshot of an average of, of what's going on, um, that's basically what we do. But to be a bit more specific about your question, we need to put in the kinetic degree of freedom into our particles. And so our electrons, what they actually see in this model is they see the um, like atomic-like states that they can be in. And the way in which the mechanics works in the, in the model is that they get to move from atom to atom. But in order to be able to move, and because we have, have to keep the same number of particles, we can't put more in or you know, take them out um, in our system, is that we have to literally destroy them and create them elsewhere in our structure. Um, is nanotechnology, how is it powered? Where does it get the energy to do what it does? Okay, so you can, uh, that's also a very good question. Um, with a lot of these technologies, let's um, go back. <laughs> For example, this one here. Let's have a look at this quantum dot. Amazingly, this little quantum dot is connected to the outside world by very, very tiny nano wires. So this is part of the technology design that we also need to, to be considering. You're right, they can't sort of, you know, live in um, isolation. They need to sort of be connected somehow. I mean, with the nanoparticles, they don't so much need to be connected because if you've got an external magnetic field which is acting at a distance, they can do their job very nicely. You just have to get them in the body. But some of the nanotechnologies do need to be connected to the outside world um, and, and, you know, that's how we sort of drive them. We can put a little gate voltage across it and, and sort of drive the electrons in that way.